on, Kelly. We're not going for a ride. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Today, I thought it would be fun to show you a cool DIY of me making a custom sewn-on steering wheel cover for my truck. Well, let's go. All right, guys, so for this project, you can use any kind of leather or pleather, honestly, that you want to. Now, you're going to want to make sure that whatever material you pick is strong and sturdy. Um, so most of these leathers are going to work better than a fabric because uh, obviously you don't want it to slip on your steering wheel when you're driving the car because that would be dangerous and cause an accident. So leathers and pleathers are going to be your best bet for doing this. There's also kits on Amazon that are pre-measured if you are looking to do that. For me, I wanted to use this really cool embossed Louis Vuitton print material. It's obviously not real, but you know, what's a girl going to do? Please make sure that you are getting a thick upholstery needle and upholstery thread. Don't try to use your regular thread that you would use to sew a button onto your shirt because it's not going to be strong enough. So here is the lady in question. Let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is measure the size of our steering wheel using our flexible tape measure. If you don't have a flexible tape measure and just have like one of the normal hard-sided ones, you can use a piece of string to measure around and then just measure the length of the string flat. But since I sew a lot and have a sewing tape measure, we're going to use that. Measure all the way around and mine is exactly 49 inches. Now the other thing we need to measure is this diameter around here. Um, some steering wheels have like bumpy, grippy parts and things. This one doesn't, so I can just measure pretty much anywhere on it. But if yours has bumpy, grippy sections, you want to make sure that you're measuring at the widest point where those bumps are. And we're going to wrap this tightly. And we are at four and a half inches. Now we can take these measurements and go inside and cut our leather. Alright guys, first for cutting we're going to measure the lengthwise, um, which is what we used for the circumference before. Now you're going to want to subtract at least an inch off. Um, depending how stretchy your fabric is, you might want to subtract a little bit more. Don't worry, we are going to double check this. And now we are going to measure the other direction, which remember mine was four and a half inches. Um, if you do have a pattern on yours like mine, you're going to want to think about where the pattern is going to lay around your steering wheel when you're making these cuts. So cut that the whole way down and then we're going to go check and see how we did with getting it to fit right. All right, now before we sew anything, we're going to want to check that this is going to fit properly. So first you're going to run it all the way around your steering wheel and pull it nice and tight at the bottom and then mark or cut or just, you know, keep an eye out based on your pattern of how far you need to trim extra off to sew it together. You want to make sure that this is super tight. Now as you see here, I did trim off the extra. You do want to leave a little bit of overlap so that way when you're sewing the two sides together they're going to stay nicely seamed and you're just going to stitch back and forth all the way across until the two sides are attached. Make sure that you're keeping it nice and flat as you're pulling it tight. You want this to lay flat, obviously, so that way it's not going to have any weird bumps on your steering wheel. When you're all done to tie a knot, I just go through the last loop, loop it around a few times, and pull it tight. And then you can cut the excess off. And I also like to put a little tiny drop of super glue just to make sure that that knot is going to stay held. So we are going to line the cover up on the bottom, making sure that that seam is directly on the bottom, where we're least likely to notice it, and then pull the cover all the way around. It should fit nice and tight like mine. Alright, now you're going to want to start where that seam is at the bottom if you can. My steering wheel, unfortunately, has a lot of stuff going on at the bottom, so I started slightly to the left. You're just going to go back and forth, just like this, making sure that you're pulling it tight. 
every time you go through. Um, you also want to be careful not to pull it too tight if you're using a pleather because they can rip. In fact, I did rip mine a little bit, um, but just be careful and go nice and slow. When you get to these bumps right here, you're going to want to pull them as tight as you can and then across the front, just loop it around just the front side like this. Pull it tight until you get to the top. And then you're going to go back to sewing both the front and the back. Now you're going to want to pull those strings tight to make sure that it's going to fit smoothly once you get past it. As you can see here, I'm going back and tightening up those knots all the way across to make sure that it's going to lie flat and smooth against my steering wheel. Please take your time with this process. I obviously have sped up the video, but to get to this one third point, it probably took me like an hour. Total, it took me a good three hours to get all the way through here. And when you get all the way to the end and you are happy with how tight your steering wheel cover is fitting, we're just gonna make that same looped knot. And once again, put a teeny tiny drop of super glue to make sure that it's going to stay nice and tight. And to hide the end, I'm going to run my needle underneath a couple stitches and cut my thread short and just pull the needle through so it's going to hide that. Ta-da! I think it came out great and was totally worth the effort and time that it took to make it. Well guys, there you have it. One finished, custom, sewn on steering wheel cover. I hope you liked it. It took forever and it's like 90 degrees out today and I didn't want to waste too much gas and leave the truck on, so I'm kind of like sweaty and gross and dying, but three hours later, ta-da, we did it. I hope your day is as beautiful as you are.